Welcome to New Life Scientific. Today we want to talk about dissolution systems, uh, particular a this system that we have here, uh, which is kind of tricked out. Um, it's centered around the 6100 and an auto sampler. Don't see many auto samplers um, on, on these systems. Uh, and uh, it, it's amazingly easy to use uh, system and I thought you might want to check it out. Um, everybody knows how that, that needs one of these, knows how they work. Very simple machine. You set your, your, your temperature, your time, your, your, uh, uh, the speed, the RPMs that you wanted to uh, use. When you set up a run, it'll tell you to drop your uh, whatever you want to um, find the solution. Uh, with an auto sampler, it can capture your, dissol your dissolution uh, at timed intervals. Uh, as I said, very easy to set up um, uh, as well. There's probes that go into them, into each of your wells. Uh, before you correct me, I did not bother to read the little tiny stripe on there to tell me which well they go in, so the colors are not how they technically should be. Um, this system is configured with two syringe pumps because the auto sampler can run two dissolution devices. It can run the 6300, the 6100, which is this unit, a 5300, I'm sorry, 5100, or a 2100, and they don't have to be the same system. So you can run a 6100 with your 5300, for example. So, each one of your syringe pump, which drives the fluid between the two units, comes with your set of probes, a second set of tubes to pit for your uh, water and your, your rinse waters, and, um, uh, and then your feeder line to feed uh, the auto sampler. Auto sampler underneath the head here has pit that has uh, probes that are going to come down and drop into your tubes. As I said, very easy to set up. When you get your system, you've got a, uh, a system you want to set up. Very easy to go into the administration. Enter. We want to go into over to configure. Enter. Then use your down arrow to point to the type of system that you want. Your plus and minus will select the, will, will scroll through the different models that it can set up to. As I said, very easy to do. Um, so you start your runs from the, the, the auto sampler. So once your, your method is set up, your time is set up in your, uh, your, your bath unit, you can start it from here and you'll finish up over there and that'll become obvious here in a moment. So if I want to start my run, I can tell it I want to open one of the runs that I have out. You still have that. When you, you start your bath, start your unit, the baths will automatically start and get up to heat. System will tell you over there, tell you that you're waiting for the unit to get up to heat. We had it fairly close, so we'll only be a few more moments. Once this gets up to heat, that machine the, uh, will tell you to, to look on the front of your system. All the rest of your um, uh, uh, information will come from, from the dissolution system screen. Uh, handy things that it does have is what's your speed, your temperature, and it's cycling through your different wells. Um, and once, we, once it does get up to heat and we tell that we've, we've dropped our, what we want uh, to, to dissolve, it will start the, the elapsed timer. Um, so it's a very easy to use system. Um, another nice thing about, six, one of the things about 6100 um, is that it is a, uh, it doesn't have a bath around 
uh, each of your containers. Normally these would be considered drop down into a water bath that you would have a chiller of some sort of a, a heated bath circulating so you'd have the noise of that pump be uh, heating up this water. Um, with these, with a 6100 or any of them that have the, uh, the bathless systems is that you can have different temperatures. So you could be sampling uh, how it dissolves at different temperatures in each different unit. Um, we're just about there. Uh, just be another moment onto it. It does have a, a, a secondary probe uh, uh, for calibration um, in case there is a temperature problem uh, with your well heaters. Other than that, in the back of the uh, syringe pumps, as I said, there's three different lines, uh, easy to configure. They are numbered on the um, uh, on the tubes, so that uh, so you know which well they go into. This particular one, for example, very precise um, heating. Uh, of course, 37 being the most common, but you can set it to quite a range of units and that'll vary based on your dissolution system. While you're running here and we should be there, another thing it tells you, it does tell you where it is in its step. Here it's, it's in the preheat mode. It's being controlled by the EV04300. Now it's 3700. On some of the wells, those last ones will finish and we should get the, the knob. There it is telling us the, the, the vessels are all up to temperature. If you just press enter, it tells the drop of the, what we, what we want into the baths. Press enter. The timer now starts over. And the unit uh, will start its sampling uh, at its time intervals. Um, and we can go back to the samples to see where, how much time is remaining uh, on the systems because it does give you information that is not available on that, such as when your next action is, in this case, 14 minutes and 30 seconds uh, on your time. These can take very elaborate steps um, as far as time, uh, as far as your, the different actions it can take. It can... Um, uh, dissolve, dissolution, sample, uh, rinse. There is uh, two rinse uh, uh, locations in the back for uh, rinsing and purging. Um, so it's uh, once you get it started, as you can see, 15 minutes uh, would be a real good time. It can take a, quite a number of different um, steps. Uh, uh, and you can walk away and be doing something else. Uh, so we are going to be offering um, this system broken down into two units. The auto sampling system, which includes the two syringes, and the 6100 uh, d uh, system. Of course, you can uh, use this, again, with different models uh, of the DISTEC uh, dissolution systems, and you'll be ready to go. Uh, of course, if you already have one, then you can buy the whole thing. Thank you very much. Have a great day.